everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here today i'd like to welcome you please remember to subscribe and join the family and for everybody else who's already subscribed welcome to another video by your fave who feels sick and congested normally around the times of april that's when we go into winter time that's when i struggle with my sinuses a lot like i really get very congested very nasally like it gets very uncomfortable so yeah i'm having one of those days where it's just I've got my dragon voice. I'm feeling very like, you know, I'm feeling very uneasy. But anyway, let me just request my bolt before I just go off because I'm probably running late right now. But, um, oh yeah, I'm going to need my new card details. <sighs> Guys, I had to get a new bank card because F&B sent me a new bank card. They moved me up. And then on top of that, after like a month or so, my bank card gets like fucked up. Today's just another one of the vlogs, as you can see, um, normally when it starts here and I have no makeup on. If you guys are wondering why my skin feels so moisturized, it's because I had just done my face routine and I was feeling really hot. So that's probably why. <sighs> Look at this. I was trying to request a bolt premium, but like so many bolts are busy and I really wanted the bolt woman and that's busy and I'm really just feeling some type of way. So I'll just take, wait, what's business? What's bolt business? There's so many bolts here. I am currently on my way to go get my nails fixed because as you can see, I'm currently operating on eight nails. It's been such a horrible start to April. Like April has been nothing short of horrible, nothing short of, you know, with everybody really kind of passing away in terms of like Dr. Cindy and, um, aka's partner things have just been really uneasy and like school has just had me super stressed out like there were just a lot of things that were happening so i just decided to kind of take a break to myself and i wanted to kind of you know get some rest and relaxation do something nice and i actually wanted to use the bolt um women so i'm really kind of bummed that it's busy and i also wanted to use the bolt premium and that one's also busy, so I'm kind of sad, but I'm hoping for the best right now. So I'm just gonna take my stuff, get ready, and let's go fix my nails. Ask it's no, you have one good thing, Sharp, sharp. I'm on my way to go do my nails. And then I might just take another bolt and go get breakfast. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys as soon as I get there. Okay, so just got to Tammy Taylor, guys. I'm gonna do my nails and then I'm probably gonna go get breakfast afterwards. The first bolt ride was so nice. For the first time, I felt safe with a man. But I did ask him to please don't kidnap me, so. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go get my nails done. Oh, sorry. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, pretty. Hi, Joy. I'm good, thanks. How are you? So, I'm gonna get my nails fixed and then I'm gonna go have some breakfast. So. Um, so I just finished getting my nails done. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to know what color this is, but this is the color Dirty Blonde. So if you want to do your nails, um, here in Bedford View, Tammy Taylor, just check it out. Okay, so step one of rest and relaxation is done. Now it's time for step two. I'm really hungry right now and I'm hoping some way somehow I'm going to squeeze in a wax, a Hollywood wax. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but if anybody wants to know where I get my waxes done, I go to uh, Sobe. And because I live in the south, I normally go to the one in Mayersdale or I go to the one in New Red Ruth. I'm not too picky. I used to come to the one in Bedford View, but then I think it's closed down. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, 
now I want to go get breakfast because I'm really hungry and I'd like to take you guys to my favorite spot it's called cafe Billy B and it's been the one breakfast place I've been going to for I think the past four or five months and I can't imagine going anywhere else so I'm just gonna make a quick call and I'm just gonna request my next bolt and then we're gonna go to cafe Billy B so the first ride was really really good um, I really really liked my first bolt ride and I do think the guy was really gracious enough in terms of not being really uh, freaked out by my camera uh, he was a guy so I was shocked because I felt f fairly safe but he was really small like I could tackle him if I really wanted to um, now we're gonna go to cafe Billy B okay I'm gonna is it is it Greenstone Park? No, I think it's Stone Ridge. Let's see if there's a uh, bolt for women. Oh my god, there is a woman only, but it's like six minutes away. So I really do want to try the women only, and I want to try the premium as well. Uh, see how that goes. Oh, Mara, 143. Premium. Ha. Huh? No. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I'm going to try the women only, but it looks like it's seven minutes away. And the normal bolts is two minutes away. Okay, premium just became busy. Would you look at that? Okay, it seems like premium is a really big deal. So I'm gonna take the woman only. Let's try that one and see. Um, this Tammy Taylor is one of my favorites because they they dead ass let me chill here like I'm a hobo. So yeah. I really miss the convenience of having my car, but I do feel like taking a bolt is really great in instances where I want to drink. So. Do I plan on drinking all day? Yeah. Mm. Right. Oh, it's a it's a it's a mom. Oh. Hi man, I think I remember this lady. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think she's the the one when I first took my bolts. She took some other funny route and I was like, ah. I could be wrong. I I, I remember this lady. She looked a bit trafficy. I'm not so sure. But anyway, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. No, she's probably not trafficy, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> like, um, we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna try see, like I said, if I can squeeze in a wax. And then I really do want to take you guys to one of my favorite spots, but I want to keep it a surprise because I want you guys to watch until the end of the video. And don't forget to watch the ads, please, guys. I'm poor. Um, so yeah, let me finish this glass and then meet Viola downstairs. Can Bolt please consider putting in snacks in the car? I get really hungry, and I I would really love like salami sticks or something. Mm. Okay, that was a bit of a stretch. No, I, I, I don't want salami stick. Guys, can you look at my nails? I feel like a rich woman. Jimena? <laughs> yes! I'm surprised you remember me because I remember you. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? I'm good, thanks. How are you, ma? Going today. I'm going to Stone Ridge in Edenvale. Vale. Yes. Yeah. I'm so surprised you remember me because I was like, man, I'm going but I doubt she'll remember me. Mm. But I keep on a snap as well, I definitely remember you. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, at least for safety. Yo. I was so happy when I recognized you on my app. And even a lot of people, a lot of girls, or a lot of women are happy about the fact that there's a bolt for women only. Let's hope we'll see the women, well, the ladies start using that one more often. Exactly. Nami Seng Seng Buguti. Let's hope they start picking the bolt for women. It's just too good since that's a few. Because even this morning when I first came to Bedford, I took a bolt and then it was saying bolt for women, it's busy. As in non can bees. Okay, so I just got to Stone Ridge. Um, I'd like to retract everything I said about the poor lady. You know, like, she's so sweet. <laughs> she's really sweet. Look, guys, I was scared at first because, you know, some old ladies, they team up with these niggas and then they take us all down. But she was really sweet. And she actually remembered me the same way I remembered her. So that's really cool. Um, second bolt down. Now I'm going to breakfast. And... Like I said, I'm taking you guys to my favorite place in uh, Stone Ridge, which is in Edenvale. Um, it's called Cafe Billy Beer, and they've got really amazing breakfast, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And it's actually my first time vlogging here, so it feels really like awkward because they're not, they've never seen me vlog before. They have no idea what I do for a living, so it's gonna be kind of awkward, but whatever. And uh, yeah, 
so we're gonna walk in now but yeah i just want to say balls for women is definitely my vibe like i'm definitely i'm vibing with that balls for women so now now i'm just gonna walk in and try not to look like a crazy woman with a large vlogging camera in my hand and it's gonna be so so awkward but uh, dude it's my job like you know Salman, can we sit anyway? I wanna sit outside. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. I, sh I wanna sit somewhere where no one is in my background. Okay, I'll sit here. I'm right. I'm right. Can I please have a um, cappuccino with cream, please? Cappuccino with cream. Yes, please. Right. Thank you. Guys, I'm here at Cafe Bilibi. Um, it's one of my favorite restaurants to go to. And I'm gonna have my favorite breakfast here, which is like the corn hotcakes. But um, yeah, second ball down and I'm feeling really good. Now my phone's gonna die, so I'm really worried because how am I gonna call my least balls when my phone's on 2%? The thing is, my phone has been really problematic, so I've been asking my dad to give me a new phone, but it's been a bit of a like problematic situation. But anyway, alright then. I think I want like a Savannah. I'm really hoping they actually have Alcoholic drinks. Nina, you have to try. Yeah, I'm going to share with you. You have to try one. I'm going to go to the next I'm finally back home after obviously going to my nail appointment and having breakfast and now I'm just kind of at home just taking it really really easy um so you know what I've had a bit of a long day but I just want to give you guys like an update on how it was taking um, the bolt for women today I wasn't able to get um, bolt premium and I think it was because it was quite busy it did cost a little bit more and when i obviously checked the prices in relation to the competitor it was more or less the same so i would like to assume that you're still paying for like a premium bolt but not the average bolt and it's you know i i, I don't know in what ways it makes it a little bit better or why there's like the price spike but I took the normal bolt today and then I had the opportunity to take bolts for women and I was really happy with the outcome. I have to admit, like I really love the fact that there is a bolt for women that allows us to have female drivers and I don't know, it was it was a different experience and it was really nice to see someone that I've already seen before prior to today. But I don't know, I'm just I'm I'm having a really bad day. I think a lot of things on social media are really triggering right now. Um like with Dr. Cindy and Anela Tembe, it's been really, really like I've just been going through a hard time trying to process everything that's happened. So yeah, it's been really hard and And also today with everything going on with um, Entlem Bali, and if you guys don't know who Entlem Bali is, Entlem Bali is um, Black Coffee's wife, or I don't know if their divorce has been finalized, so I'm just going to go with um, his wife or his ex-wife. And with everything that's going on and her basically calling her out, calling him out for GBV, it's, it's really painful because, you know... It's really triggering and it's something, like I said, one thing I never want to get into is the complexities or like the really sensitive parts of my relationship. But my last relationship, there were a lot of things that I chose to omit under the guise of really protecting people that I care for. But even in doing that, you realize that you're protecting people who are not really sorry for what they've done to you. And my heart really bleeds for her because she's been an exceptional wife to him and to have to suffer and have to go through something so painful that she's tried so hard to really hide and conceal from the world that now that she has to come clean about the kind of person that she was with and not this kind of you know hero that we made him out to be it's 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 painful and um it makes me angry on her behalf it makes me hurt on her behalf it makes me wish 
I had spoken out sooner about the things that I had been through in my relationship. But, you know, you keep thinking that, ah, whatever happened, happened. And I'm, I'm, I'd like to think I'm a really strong individual. I don't, I don't want to dwell on anything that I've been through. I feel like I've really tried to work past it. But one thing I will say is that it is triggering because for, long, for a long time, you conceal who someone really is to you behind closed doors. And when it is time to take out the truth, people are like, but we've never known him to be like that. You've never said anything. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to go into that. It's really triggering for me. Um, it's not something I'm really comfortable with going through. But anyway, um, I just want to show you guys some things that I obviously got, you know, because I'm always gay. Bang. <laughs> but I'm really tired. I'm really triggered. Like, my, my spirits are really in, like, a bad place right now. I'm, my heart goes out to her. My heart goes out to Lulu. Like, I just saw on the timeline that um, uh, I, I think it was a guy named Lulu had been killed by, by as a regard to homophobia, you know, it was just... I don't know what this world is coming to. I don't know what this world is coming to. You know, a part of me wishes I could say, let's just burn them alive, you know? But then another part of me has to remember that, you know, you don't kill, you don't kill evil with evil, but they say kill them with kindness, but it's not killing them. The kindness isn't killing them. So, but yeah, my heart is just really in a bad place today. And, um, a lot of women are really calling out GBV. A lot of women are obviously becoming more vocal about the abuse they've endured under the hands of people they call their partners and, you know, having to pretend like I never suffered from something like that is really wild. It's so wild, like, it's crazy. I don't know how I endured so many years. I don't know how I did that. But it's painful to see other women come out with it because they've probably endured it for much longer. So, yeah, no, can't stand men. Still hate the shit out of them. But we moved. But I recently got um, this Pampers grass, but I'm not too impressed with it because it's actually becoming, it, it makes a mess. It actually makes a really hot ass mess. But I got it from Rosa Bespoke on Instagram. Please do go check them out. Um, I wanted to get like a vase for them and really kind of make it look nice because I also want to get a drinks trolley. And the drinks trolley that I wanted from Mr. Price Home is currently sold out. Um, I don't know if there's anyone who works at Mr. Price Home, can y'all just hook me up? With like a drinks trolley because people are making fun of my background and my mukbangs and saying that it's really empty and and as much as as funny as it is it does hurt sometimes but anyway another thing that i want to show you guys that i got is this box from wig care um wig care is under the dolce locks brand and they contacted me and they basically asked me if they could send me their wig care product. So they contacted me and they asked me if they could send me their new wig care products and i was like i had no sweat and the, this is what they did they kind of personalized it which was really cute i'll give them that that was super cute and they're basically showing me their product range which is um co conditioner shampoo okay wait let me see it's a defense spray it's an organ shampoo there's conditioner there's um oh there's a clarity shampoo oh no i don't think they give me everything here on this list but they're basically showing us what the range has and I like the the personalized card. That's really cute. That's my cute. And then this is basically what it looks like on the inside. It's really nice. However, I don't know if the guy deli who delivered it didn't really care. But it was... There's a lot of leakage. Like, um... It's spilt. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. But everything else is, like, super, super cute. But everything you see, like, look at this. This is just so sticky. Like... I don't know whoever was delivering this and like literally half the product is spilled. Look at that. Oh my God. But yeah, they sent me their wig care products, which was really great. It was super cute. Thank you so much to wig care ZA. And um, yeah, we'll see how it pans out. But okay. The packaging was really cute. I'll give them that. The packaging 
was really cute. The mimicking of the of the white rose petals was super cute. I like that. I think this is that's what I like about this and the personalized card. Can you guys see me? Do I look a little bit dark? But anyway, it's lunchtime now. Um, I came back from getting my wax done. It's just that it was I wasn't really allowed to film. I think the ladies were a bit nervous about why I'm filming and what's going on. I think I want to move you guys to like a brighter light in the kitchen. All right, let me move you here. Yeah, so I couldn't really film that, but I came back and I just ordered some lunch and I want to show you guys what I'm having. I ordered from, um, what's this? Asia Yummy. I didn't know exactly what I was craving, so I ordered a bit of everything. So I got a little bit of sushi, but I got like some plain maki right over here. Um, I like salmon maki, so that's my favorite with a little bit of soy sauce. And then I also ordered the i'm not entirely sure if i ordered crispy or what it's called in the menu but it's called crispy something so it comes with the fried rice and then this is the crispy pork i think i ordered pork and then they also gave me this kind of saucy type of texture i don't know how i'm going to show you but i'll probably just lean over i don't know what it is but it looks like it's got like some sort of pineapple vibe to it it's like a sweet and sour let me show you guys what it looks like essentially so you guys can get like a better indication of what i'm having so um this is essentially what it looks like i ordered like some crispy fried rice well i thought the rice would actually be fried rice but it's just normal jasmine rice and then that's the crispy pork and then they gave me this this sweet sour sauce that's got like some pineapple but it's also like a tomato flavor and then i've got my maki right here so i'm just gonna actually get to eating because i'm like extremely hungry and i'll talk to you guys a little bit i've oh you know what i've never in my life been so upset i've had a long ass day it's been such a tumultuous day and then okay the sushi was nice you see so i ate my sushi but this thing oh my god mm, it tastes like it tastes like they put tomato sauce and pineapples and then some fried onions. And then on top of that, this crispy pork that, that looks supposedly delicious. I don't know. Look at that. There's no flavor, no nothing. So I'm going to go to Ekakasi and get like a plate of food because I was looking forward to this, but this is just messed up. And like, it's like, there's no salt. There's no salt. Like the only thing... I literally couldn't even get through one of them. This is what happens when you live in the in the ghetto like me. This is what happens when you live on the crap side of like the south like me. Okay, because my dad and sister live on the nicer side. Like they live where there's like more restaurants, nicer restaurants. With me, I was just like, I'm hungry, guys. I'm starving. I just spent 200 rand on something. That One thing about the good sis, she went and got prime meat. <laughs> I'm looking a little bit orange and I think it's the light is kind of really getting in the way I wanted to give you guys as much light as possible but it's kind of making me look a little bit orange so so um I've had a really long day but I really wanted to show you guys how I wash my makeup brushes because one of the like frequent questions I get which is so wild to me is that um how do I wash my makeup brushes and it's really ironic because I hardly ever use makeup brushes but I am realizing the importance of having makeup brushes and having clean brushes and I remember I said this on Twitter like a f <laughs> about a month or two ago that I can't remember the last time I washed my makeup brushes so I kind of want to show you guys what they look like I'm really embarrassed you guys will see they're like extremely dirty but I think now is the best time to kind of show you guys how I wash them and how I kind of take care of them so if you want to see how how I wash my makeup brushes then please keep watching so this is essentially what my makeup brushes look like they are extremely dirty extremely filthy like they are so dirty so bad and you know I haven't done an updated like oh did you see that oh my god oh my god 
Oh my god, these are all my makeup brushes. Uh, well, most of them I still got like extra brushes, uh, but these are the ones I find myself using frequently, hence, they are here next to my setting sprays. And um, I just really want to wash these. If anyone's wondering where I got these marble ones, I got them from Harry Lemo. I just want to show you guys how I wash my brushes and how I keep. Um, maintaining them after years of having them because there are some brushes I've had here for years I've had this one for years and I got this one this is earth something this is a brand that I've seen from clicks before I think it's called like earth something so I'm gonna show you guys how I wash them and take you guys to my bathroom so I don't know if the lighting is gonna make it somewhat better but I obviously had my ring light here so that you guys can have as much light as possible oh as much lawyer <laughs> but anyway um here are my brushes right so it's this one this one and that one and they just fell basically all my brushes in a nutshell and this is why i hate using brushes this is why i prefer using blenders because they're just easier to wash i'm actually gonna get my blenders now as well but i just want to show you guys the convenience of this so what i do is i normally take my brushes out so there's quite a lot of them and I just lay them on the floor like this. And in this instance, I then got my um, boiling hot water. I know a lot of people like to use lukewarm water. But for me, I just felt like uh, boiling water kind of works a little bit better. It's totally like optional. But they do say that hot water from time to time can ruin your brushes. So yeah. What I like to do is then use the very same holders that I would clean the brushes. I would just pour water in there. Okay, so let me just, sorry. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of boiling hot water. About yay much. Sometimes I make it just a little bit more. My bigger brushes. The next thing that I do guys is I take dishwashing liquid. So you can take whichever dishwashing liquid you wanna use, but I use sunlight, I always felt one drop goes a long way guys you know and then i just put a little but like a lot like I, I just eyeball it essentially my mom would kill me if she saw how much i used for brushes she would murder me and then i also put some in there yeah because a little really does go a long way and then the next thing i like to use but this is an added optional one is i like to use my extra virgin oil virgin olive oil i got this from woolies um they say extra virgin so i believe that is extra virgin but olive oil is kind of great it kind of really breaks down the what's this the makeup that is really hardened and when i say hardened i'm normally referring to makeup you would use for um your face so for example this brush would need just a little bit more you know just a little bit more emphasis and things like that so i also take a little bit of olive oil and i just Whoa! there's a load and i just dunk it in there so i'm just gonna really get them together and just basically um put them inside like that facing down these are my hermosa floor brushes um but just take all my eye brushes and i place those ones together because i feel like the small ones i can really pack them in together so that's what i just do just like that and you can already see that the water is kind of looking very very dirty um but you see that all my brushes are stacked upright because i put in so many brushes they manage to all just stand upright so oopsie i made a poopsie okay so now i'm just left with like my big brushes as you can see which is why it's so easy for me to place all the big brushes in here which is what i'm gonna do right now so those are my big brushes they are all in there i know that someone might say no the water's not supposed to get to that point but yeah i've never really like struggled so what i do is i give them a swirl and then I just let them sit. This is all that's left. This is like what didn't fit. But then most of them are just like brushes I've never really used before. Um, even this next one, I don't, I hardly ever use it. I don't really like um, the texture of it. Yeah, guys, I'm going to put my brushes here for about 20 minutes. And while I put them there, I'm basically just going to show you guys my night routine. And I'm going to call it an evening. Okay, let's go to my point. I don't know if this is a good idea. 
but um okay so now we are in my bathroom and yes i am somewhat kneeling because this stand is not tall enough like for my you know what i'm saying so anyway now i'm just going to show you guys what i do in terms of my face right nothing really changes but for today and for the sake of this video i just want to show you guys what i do for a nighttime routine to maintain that sort of you know youthful looking moisture in my face look that um people normally wake up with you know when people wake up with glowing skin so for the longest time i've always wanted my skin to look like that when i wake up so i try to make sure that i hydrate my skin before sleeping like crazy to make sure that i get that sort of you know so yeah guys let me show you what i do for my nighttime routine Hey guys um i'm finally finished with everything that i needed to do and i think this is probably the end of the vlog um but before we ended i just wanted to have a little i wouldn't call it a rant but it's more like um kind of share you know how i've been feeling the past few days um you know with everything that's happened over the past weekend with everyone passing away and it's just been such a hard I don't know thing to digest i wouldn't want to call it a thing but it's it's just been such a hard kind of moment to digest and it's put my creativity levels on an all-time low you know what i mean um i don't know i was reading my tarot readings like i was watching my tarot readers the other day like i'm really big on tarot readings and first of all my tarot readers aren't saying anything that i need to hear but that's not the problem um, I don't know, like, my spirits have just been really down lately. I've just been home more often. I've been anxious more often. I've been scared more often. And I don't know, with everything that's just happened, I'm not the same person that I normally am when it comes to, like, my creativity, you know? And I'm just hoping that everyone out there is doing okay. I'm hoping that all my subscribers, I know that a large amount of them is ladies, but men as well, I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, but to the women specifically, uh, I just want you guys to know that I absolutely love you guys and care about you guys. And whatever you guys are going through, uh, please be vocal about it. In two instances with, you know, what happened with uh, Anela Tembe and with Lufuno, it's, you know, when, when you're going through things like depression and when you're going through things that you're really afraid to talk about, the last thing we would want to have is someone taking away their own life when we are literally living in a generation right now where those kinds of situations are no longer taboo. So we shouldn't be afraid to start addressing these um, serious issues and finding a way to kind of combat these mental illnesses. You know what I'm saying? Um... I suffered from depression a long time ago with my mom's passing and I wouldn't say that I kind of got over it. I just kind of found a way to compartmentalize it, which is also not a really good thing. So 
I do urge anyone who's going through anything to speak out about it. I know that there are a few ladies who have contacted me. They've been going through a lot of depressive episodes and I've tried to obviously uh, respond the best way I know how, especially on my social media. But I do realize that a lot of women come to me for comfort or come to me in situations where they feel like heartbreak is really impacting them and their self-esteem. And I want you to know that I understand more than anyone. Um, I've went through it and this is not something that happened a long time ago. This is very recent where I felt like, you know, a breakup truly kind of changed my outlook on life and on love. So if you guys have any issues that you're going through or anything that you really feel you need to share because it's detrimental to your health, please guys, um, find an outlet, talk to someone email me if you have to and I say email because I do feel like my social media times at times it gets extremely congested um, I don't get to people's messages fast enough and I feel like with my emails it's a little bit better because I can be able to respond time timely timely timelessly I don't know if that's a word sorry my English is just kind of running away from me right now but um, I just want you guys out there to just say a little prayer for everyone that's going through things right now. I think it's so easy to hide things and it's so easy for things to look good on the outside that when things like this happen, it really kind of puts, brings the reality back into things that we're all just going through a lot of really bad situations. Um, the pandemic has affected people's mental health. And I don't know, I, I, really, I really hope... I really hope I find a way to shed light on that and to talk about, you know, mental awareness and to really kind of delve into those topics on my channel. I think it's just, I've been so afraid and my anxiety at times, it's the fear of constantly being attacked for something that you, that makes you very vulnerable. And I think my channel has been about comedy and laughs and jokes. And I think people escape, they come to my channel to escape. And sometimes I feel like talking about those heavy situations um, might pull people away from that happy moment and put them into like the current reality of what they're going through. And I try by all means not to do that. I try by all means to keep everyone in a happy state. But I do believe that if you guys have any issues, if any of my subscribers are going through anything like that and you really just need someone to talk to or you really just need an outlet, please don't be afraid to reach out. If, even if... I'm the only outlet you can think of. Please do reach out and, you know, I'll try in the best way I can to respond to everyone. I really hope everyone's okay. I really hope everyone's safe. Um, you know, the reality we're living in is so rife right now and it makes me so sad. I'm really hoping God can hear us and actually just make a change. So if you guys are out there and your life seems pretty okay, can you guys please say a small prayer for people out there who are currently going through things? And maybe we say a small prayer for Dr. Cindy Fansail. Please guys also say a prayer for Andy Lynn Dutela, also known as Lulu, who is part of the LGBTQ community. Um, if you guys haven't seen that um, thread or you haven't heard about that please go check it out on social media please do say a prayer for him as well as he died a very very brutal death and I feel like at times the LGBTQ community goes they they're overlooked a lot of the time they're fighting hard for their spaces and they, their deaths are so tragic and the thing is, people are fighting so hard on social media to get them the same coverage, the same kind of awareness, because they their lives matter just as much as ours. So please, guys, say a prayer for Lulu, justice for Lulu, you know, and justice for Lofuno as well, who is a young student who committed suicide because of bullying at school. So... Please guys, tonight, as we go to bed and the end of this vlog, I'm really sorry that it ended on a somber note <clears throat> yeah no this is not it eh? but um i really hope you guys are okay and you're staying safe out there and to all my subscribers um i love you guys so much thank you for giving me this platform to be able to share my life with you guys share my feelings my opinions what i believe in and never judging me for that and if there's any way i can use my platform to bring awareness i definitely will do that irrespective of the cause you know what i'm saying irrespective of the outcome irrespective of the black lash i'm really sorry guys my english is just losing me right now but yeah guys that's the end of the vlog please take care of yourselves i love you guys so much 
and I will see you guys in my next vlog.